hello everyone welcome back to tech genie in this video i will be explaining that how to get lower ping and increase internet speed in windows 10 and windows 11 and these are the updated solutions that will be surely working in 2023 now before starting i would recommend you that kindly go ahead and check your internet speed to find out that what kind of connectivity what kind of bandwidth you are getting from your internet service provider now these are the settings that are related to your windows operating system but if you are not getting the relevant speed or if there is any kind of problem with your isp then these settings will not be working all right so what you can do you can bring up your any of your favorite browser and then you need to come to this website that is a speedtest.net once you come up here you have to click on go and now this will be letting you know that what kind of download and the upload speed and along with the ping that you are getting now you can see that i'm getting a very good ping that is around 7 and the downloading speed is stable at around 49 50 mbps and the same i'm getting with the upload speed so there is no you know fluctuation the speed is very constant and you can see that it, there is no drop nothing even the ping is stuck on 7 all right but if you find a lot of fluctuations here and if you find that the downloading and uploading speed is too different then in that case you will have to speak to your internet service provider all right so just make sure with them and once you are done next what you will have to do you need to exclude your game or application from the windows firewall now you may be having the low ping you will have to exclude any application or game where you have the problem with from windows firewall now many people have problem like they are not getting a good ping while playing any kind of game or while using any kind of application just because every traffic all the bandwidth goes through the windows firewall and probably that is blocking you to get the enough ping so for that you need to click on your windows search type allow an app and in the suggestion you will be getting allow an app through windows firewall click on it and now here you have to click on change settings then you have to look for the application or the game where you have the problem with where you're getting the high ping or low internet speed so let's say i'm not having any kind of game over here but for example i have a problem with this clip champ or i can take anything else like so lighter and casual games so what you need to make sure that it's been added in this list over here now if you don't find your game or application in the list here then you will have to manually add it so to manually add it what you will have to do you need to look for that game or application icon on your desktop then you need to make a right click on it and you will be getting an option open file location click on it and once you come to the location you just have to copy the path from the top then you can close it come back to this firewall page click on allow another app click on browse now paste the path that you just copied hit the enter key now select that game or application icon then click on open then click on add and that application or game will now be added over here once added you have to make sure that these private and public options are being checked okay so this is the second thing that you will have to do once you are done you have to click on ok next you need to click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl then hit the enter key now here all the network connections will be coming up like your ethernet your wi-fi bluetooth everything will be displayed over here now whichever connection you are connected with like ethernet or wi-fi you need to make a right click on it then click on properties and then here you will be getting internet protocol version 4 double click on it and here it should be checked to obtain dns server address automatically i would suggest you to go with the custom dns address that should be from google or cloudflare so go and select the second option and in the preferred you have to type cloudflare ip that will be one 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 and one and in the alternate you have to type one zero zero and one once you are done you have to click on ok and then click on ok again now again make a right click on this then click on properties then click on configure 
and this kind of page will be coming up now here from the top menu option you have to click on power management and just uncheck this option that says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power uncheck it then from the top menu option only click on advanced now here in the property section you have to look for energy efficient ethernet and if you find it then you have to click on it and then you have to disable it from the right hand side i don't see it so that's okay from my end so if you get it you have to disable it next you also need to look for power saving mode and if you get the power saving mode then you have to select it and then from the right hand side you have to choose disable and then you have to look for speed and duplex click on it then from the right hand side you have to choose the top value that is one gbps full duplex then click on ok and now you can close it now you also need to keep in your mind that if you're using any kind of vpn connection or the proxy server then kindly go ahead and disable it because many time most of the time using the vpn and the proxy will increase your ping and reduce the internet speed all right so just make sure that you have disabled the vpn and the proxy server from your computer so for that you can click on your windows search type vpn click on vpn settings and if the vpn has been manually added then you have to disable it from here or if you have been using any kind of extension from the chrome or any kind of uh, software for the vpn then you have to manually disconnect it same you have to make sure for your proxy so click on your windows search and type inetcpl.cpl hit the enter key now here from the top menu option you have to click on connections then click on lan settings and assure that this use a proxy server for your lan has been unchecked if this option has been checked kindly go ahead and uncheck it then click ok ok and close it next you need to click on your windows search type power cfg.cpl hit the enter key now here you will see all kind of your power plan so whichever power plan is being selected to on the right hand side you will find change plan settings click on it then click change advanced power settings another box will be up now here you have to look for wireless adapter settings double click on it to expand it then you will find power saving mode double click on it and in the setting section make sure that it's been selected to maximum performance then you have to click on apply then click on ok and now you can close it and next you also need to make sure that your network drivers are up to date even if it's a wi-fi or ethernet you have to make sure that both the drivers are up to date so right click on your windows icon then from the list of suggestion click on device manager and here you have to look for network adapter double click on it now here you can see the intel wi-fi connection and even you would be able to find the real tech lan or ethernet connection so whichever you get make a right click on it choose update driver click search automatically for drivers and if there are update available it will update it and if not then you will be getting this kind of message all right so once we are done all these settings then finally you will have to come to this website for which you will be getting the link in the description you can open this website then you have to click on download this is for the looping and it's a bad file so click on download then you need to open the folder and look for the file that you just downloaded the pink file right click on it and choose run as administrator then click on yes now this will be running with the administrator permission and it says successfully reset the winsock catalog you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset but before that we also need to make some more changes so kindly just wait and minimize it and you also need to download this tcp optimizer so again you will be getting the link in the description click on download and once it's been downloaded you have to open the folder again right click on it choose run as administrator so that you should not get any error message and once it comes up you will see such kind of page now here what you will have to do first from the right hand corner you need to click on custom and then here in the connection speed just drag this to the highest maximum value that is 100 mbps once you are done from the top menu option click on advanced settings now here what you can do you can just take a screenshot that settings i am going to change or you can manually do along with me so in the maximum connection per server settings you have to type here 10 
in the maximum connection per server also you have to type 10 then in the local priority it will be 4 then type 5 in the host priority dns priority will be 6 and this one will be 7 then we have tcp no delay we can just choose enabled one tcp del ck text we have to choose disable zero and in the network memory and allocation in the size we just have to choose default one all right so this is the setting that you need to keep so you can just take a screenshot if you want to and then finally you have to click on apply changes then click on ok and then it will say some registry changes may require a reboot to take effect would you like to reboot now so finally restart your computer and after that you will find that the ping has been reduced and the internet speed has been increased so just make sure go ahead and restart it and after that uh, you will find a great change so that's all guys hopefully this guide will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and still if you have any question any doubt let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye